Welcome everyone. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminines, Mars, and the Masculines, Venus. It's 1221 on the clock. This is the Gilded Tarot. We have the Rider Waite Mini here, and we're going to do Oracle cards at the end. I've already pre-shuffled. We'll sh I'm going to shuffle a little bit more. And um, today is April 14th, 2021. We're looking for the energies for Virgo coming up towards the end of April now. And it is a general reading, so if something doesn't resonate with you, don't force it to fit. If you want something more specific, my information is below and on my website, TwinFlames3344.com. So for everybody watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know and learn for Virgo here? So let's check it out. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you so much. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you do like the content. And uh, here we go. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. When my cards got wet. <sighs> Virgo. All right. So first card out for Virgo is the Two of Swords. And this has to do with being in your knowing but either keeping your energy pure so you're keeping it to yourself or you're avoiding dealing with something by keeping it to yourself, right? Blinded by the light, trying to stay sane, keep peace of mind. The challenge for you is the two of wands reversed, which can be feeling like you have no options or having chosen an option, but you can't implement it right now. The foundation for you is the four of swords reversed. This can be not sleeping well and rising above or awakening and coming out, but there may be some trust issues or now there are no trust issues because he looks like he's grabbing for the sword, but it's reversed. So you may be over that or rising above those kind of issues. In the recent past, we have the temperance card, patience, balance, a higher love, a Sagittarius perhaps. And crowning for you guys is the judgment card, making an announcement, being judgmental, um, you know, so this is the wake-up call energy. This also can be music being piped in. Ground control to Major Tom always comes up with this. The Emerald Order. Um, there could be something about pilots or flight school. What's coming up for you is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Um, and in the traditional deck, this means great riches, but it also can ref reflect the evil side of wealth. This also could be withholding. Maybe tax time energies, withholding time, money, and effort, or having to pay out for taxes. Um, this could be also saving and holding back to start a new life, but it's not quite there yet. All right, you see yourself as the king of swords, right? He's the master of words and thoughts. This can be a whole range of professionals, um, but also just someone very much in their integrity but they can come off as kind of cold at times, but he is upright. He is a good person, um, but it also can be illegal. It can be military. Um, it can be um, any kind of advisor, um, healthcare as well, but that's how you're seeing yourself. How others might see you or how uh, the energy may be around you is the magician here you know that's very different and this is someone's if this is them seeing you that's seeing you as cold because you're coming off as manipulative here but this is you seeing yourself as in the truth this also could just be someone around you who's not you at all or this could be a gemini man who's in your energy here gemini or virgo so the magician is very good at what he does but in this deck he's not very nice right very good at what he does, but not very nice. All right, so somebody might be seeing you that way. The block here is the Four of Pentacles, keeping your cards close to jest, uh, close to your chest. And jester was, or in jest was coming up, saying something in jest or a jester, the jester's court. But keeping your cards close to your chest, right? People don't trust you because you're not forthright. This also could be saving money. Maybe there's been a loss of money this year, so you're 
you're holding your money back more than you normally would. But this is different. The block here is holding it back, right? Here, the magician's putting all their cards on the table. Here, they're holding back. And this is like showing your hand, but he's the illusionist. So he's showing you his hands to show you he's really not telling you the truth. He's holding something back. And this may want to know how he does it. How does he do it? What's the trick? What's the catch? What's coming up at the end is the devil. And this could be somebody who's on fire. They could be horny. This could be a Capricorn. This could be someone with addictions, a codependencies. We have the cowboy's energy here coming in on the red eye with red eyes. Um, right? But there's that sexual energy for sure here in this deck. So we have Aquarius over here with a horn and then the horny devil over here, Aquarius and Capricorn. There could be standoff between them. They're all upright major arcana, but they're dark energies. So what is the connection to what's left hanging in limbo for you? The Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. There's a little contrast for you. And then what's left hanging in limbo? The Three of Pentacles. This could be a third party through work, issues at work, not getting along at work, financial issues at work, or losing a job, or not being able to find a job. There's many different things that can come up with that energy. So this could be someone, too, who's in love. They're keeping their hard clo cards close to their chest and not letting anyone know at work because they may be leaving work for this love. Or maybe they found a better job and they're in love with it, but they can't tell anyone where they are. So you're going to get a few more cards from this deck, but you won't see them till the end to close up the story. Oh, very interesting. There's definitely story there. Yikesy. There's so much story. Don't, not sure where to end. Well, we'll end right there. Okay. The bottom of the deck for you is Hierophant. And Hierophant, the lovers, and the three of wands got all washed up in the Cancer Reef. So somebody's all washed up in a marriage or love relationship. So here's the underlying energy, and I'm going to give you a little backstory about what's going on before we go forward. There's another card behind here, too. Hold on. I think, oh, no, maybe not. All right, so let's see who we have here. We've got the Sovereign here. we got the Hierophant here. We've got the High Priestess reversed. And then we start out with the Five of Wands reversed, which is, you know, ending the war. Perhaps a need for apologies, maybe dealing with PTSD, dealing with looting, you know, watching that ship sail, the Viking ship, Chinese and getting high, munchies, shipping and receiving, imports and exports. The skies are now clearing as this Viking ship sails away. So there's Viking energy and Nordic energy as well here. After the war, right, the ships are finally, that ship has finally sailed. I'm sailing away. King of Cups, happy with a secret. Eight of Swords, feeling anxiety, imprisonment, feeling trapped. And then the Sovereign over here, the High Priestess reverse, which can mean a secret's out or a secret passion, someone needing to use their intuition. But I feel like there's imprisonment here, but these two are all kind of in their intuition. So who's the, imp the imprisonment here? That can be a Pisces person. My daughter's Pisces. She's definitely feeling imprisoned right now. She's dealing with some injuries. So um, water sign energy. Very happy. Thinking to himself. Having a party. We got the barbershop energy here at the barber or a barbershop quartet. A very responsible person. But there's some kind of entrapment here between the King of Cups and the Sovereign. They may want to, he may be thinking about her. She may be thinking about him. You see that? And the prison is them not being together. And here's the secret, the secret passion. 
and there may be a marriage involved or a commitment, religion, establishment, some differences between them. Okay, so we have Taurus and Pisces reversed. So it could be a Taurus upright involved, but also um, someone with Pisces in their chart. And we're going to clarify everything. Someone's obviously keeping information to themselves, keeping their cards close to their chest, rising above, awakening, not sleeping well at night, or just awakening and coming out about that, awakening to a marriage, or a religious leader, a commitment, establishment, an institution. Um, in the recent past, we have Sagittarius as well. We have Aquarius. Um, we have Gemini or Virgo, Capricorn, all upright. The only one that's reversed is Pisces in the underlying energies. So we're going to clarify. Let's see what's going on. Why are we keeping to ourselves or why is somebody else keeping to themselves? And again, now you see me, now you don't. It's coming up with a job situation. So it may be a masculine Virgo or Gemini who's planning on leaving somewhere, perhaps for love or for another job. And again, preparing for a new start, but not telling anyone. Okay, but the King of Swords can, definitely could be Virgo energy as well, and you're seeing yourself that way, so there's definitely Virgo there. So the Hierophant, why is that in the underlying energy for Virgo? Oh, someone's choosing a new path. And the truth is yet to be, is being presented now to the marriage, the establishment, the religious person, and surrender. Surrendering to the uncomfortable energies of not having walked away after choosing a new path. And then there's the King of Pentacles here. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles could be Taurus or have Taurus in their chart. Or let's see, we have Fire. Well, it's a big mixture. It could be any sign there, but someone's choosing a new path. It looks like that Taurus energy of Hierophant's choosing a new path by presenting truth to the wounded warrior who's now surrendering because the energies are so uncomfortable. Either that is the King of Pentacles or the energies are too uncomfortable of the wounded warrior with the King of Pentacles who is the Hierophant and they can't take it anymore. So they're choosing, a, someone's choosing a new path there, whether it's the wounded warrior surrendering or the King of Pentacles. So the temperance card's there in the recent past. Why? And there's Sag again. This is definitely Sagittarius energy. Somebody falling short, whether they're a player or they just are getting older and they're falling short on energy or they're falling short because they're paralyzed by their passions. They're not expressing their true desires and it's affecting the rest of their life. And then we have the Queen of Cups. And this could be somebody enamored by the Queen of Cups who's not sleeping well or rising above, awakening and coming out. Okay, Sag and Queen of Cups. And then we got a Page of Cups reversed here too, who's trapped because I was just talking about my Pisces daughter on the side. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, so we have the foundation. By the way, I'm Virgo, so I didn't know if you know that. But The Four of Swords is reversed. Why is the Four of Swords coming up reversed? It's reversed here. It's reversed here. Um, so again, someone not sleeping well. And I actually haven't been sleeping great. Not terrible, but it hasn't been like really good sleep for the past couple weeks, kind of on and off. Um, but rising above that or awakening perhaps to a commitment or a marriage and coming out about it. So the Four of Swords, and there could be anxieties and fears about sleeping at night, not sleeping because you're worried about someone hurting you or someone coming into your energy while you're sleeping. Four of Swords reversed. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands reversed, which is, again, not expressing your true desires. This could be a lot of arguing. This could be delays in communication or travel. There's no arrows of love here, right? This is that not expressing feelings, not telling. Because when you're holding back a secret, it makes it, you know, the energies are dis, they're, they're in discord. So we have the Hierophant. So there's a lot of arguing in a marriage or commitment or the patriarchy, the all boys club. A lot of um, antagonistic energy here. People may be shooting arrow, negative arrows at this club, all boys club, right? That could be as well. This also could be an institution, a church, or a Taurus person, or a marriage. 
but there's a lot of slings and arrows being shot their way. Rising above this. It could just be a lot of arguing in a marriage. And there's the lovers with the empress. So there's two Taurus energies here. And they've been coming up a lot together, these two. So one may be a religious leader or a business owner with an empress, which can be their mother. That doesn't even have to be a partner. This And the lovers doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be of great affection. So your kids can be a lover. Your mother can be a lover. So there's definitely, um, and this could be a love for the church or a love for the business with the empress there. Rising above the negative energies being thrown their way. And then we have the two of swords in the middle. Being strong, taming the beast. Perhaps you're dealing with a pet who makes you feel better. Makes all your troubles go away. <laughs> Purging it out, sweating it out. Maybe you're running with a pet. Or this is just Leo energy. And the Leo's read, Leo is coming up as needing to decompress. Like it, they, they're learning to walk away before losing their temper. So again, that's pacifying the beast, sweating it out, not taking it out on others. This is also feeling overwhelmed. Um, crying a lot, purging, again, sweating it out. It could be peeing a lot too, throwing up. Somebody could be sick. But here someone's not sick, they're well. But that throwing up was definitely coming up in one of the other reads today. So it may not be Leo though. So someone's being strong, keeping to themselves, feeling overwhelmed or pushed the emotional limits, but keeping it to themselves, purging it out, sweating it out. Maybe someone's working out, right, to get rid of those energies, dealing with up against, you know, someone tough here, taking down the field, defending their work or their need to align and get their ducks in a row. This could be someone saying, you know, get away from me. I got to get the taxes in. Leave me alone. Regarding an unhappy family or a lack of emotional fulfillment or that all the, or the whole family's unfulfilled and unhappy because all someone does is work all the time. So they never spend any time with the family. That could be coming up as well. So this, this person working has an unhappy family over here or their own emotional lack of fulfillment and then defend uh, someone guarding them over there to keep this energy away, keep the pet away from the paper, keep the kids away, keep the Leo away. Um, someone needed to be strong, overwhelmed, not being able to get to this person working. And then the two of wands is reversed, just a challenge. Feeling like you have no options, detoxing. Okay, some kind of codependency, right? Like this person can't function without this person, but this person's working all the time. This person has to do stuff on their own for themselves. And, and again, it could just be dealing with a pet as well. Spending time with a pet. It may be that someone just needs to find their own thing while somebody else is working. And this could be someone working because they don't want to spend time with the other person. There's detoxing, codependencies, and addictions here. This could also could be someone with Capricorn in their chart. A falling out between with children, soulmate. This can be also a bad childhood, a falling out from your past and detoxing that or the past returning, right? And feeling like you've got no options. And there's the tower. Feeling like I've I got no options but to suddenly offer love or be love. And it's about coming back together with this energy. There's, can, there's Capricorn reversed and Scorpio upright. So the person offering love could definitely have Scorpio in their chart. But it looks like there's two cup energies here. So they could both have water energy in their chart in some way. This also could be offering love to a Leo or kids or exposing all, going on vacation. And somebody's feeling left out. And that could be an Aquarius energy who's depressed. Okay, so this could be an offer to take kids away, but if someone's in a split, obviously they're not going away together, that one person's going to take the kids, and then the other one will be home. Or again, um, this could just be fun time in the sun. It doesn't have to be a vacation. So crowning is the an announcement with the judgment card there. Somebody's judging, announcing, a wake-up call, a wake-up call. Blinded by the light, new passion offered, passion, growth, an opportunity, a project, 
coming from a third party, coming from social distancing, coming from a negative group. But it looks like it's a connection. We have the Queen of Swords reversed here. All right, so she may be bitter or pissed or telling lies about this connection at work. So somebody could be spreading rumors. The workplace is fine, but she's she may be mad. She could be either giving the silent treatment or, you know, abusive with her words. But some, she could also be spreading lies on purpose because she's mad that these two are happy together, that there's some kind of connection. So again, there could be a third party situation um, being announced at work. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles going forward here. King of Swords, Libra energy. All right, so there could be Libra and Virgo energies going on here. Um, holding back for a new life, perhaps, with the High Priestess, which can be a Pisces or Virgo energy. So here's your two Virgos, the masculine Virgo and the feminine Virgo. So might one, one might be a Virgo, the other one might be have Virgo in their chart heavily, but we have Libra here as well. Um, a turn for the better between the King of Swords and the High Priestess which can be a couple different things. She can be Pisces or Virgo. We have Libra there as well. She can be um, a very religious person or a very spiritual person. She can be an aide or a nurse or a babysitter, perhaps. You know, she could be a Catholic teacher. So you see yourself as the King of Swords. And there's the King of Cups with the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. She's speaking her truth, and he's lovingly listening. Very interesting there. So you may be that the King of Swords, though, could be a separate person in between the two of these, the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Or the Knight of Swords could be the Queen of Pentacles telling her truth to the King of Cups. So are you the monkey in the middle? Or are you the loving man over here who's just being strong over here to keep other people away? And is she, and this definitely could be Virgo feminine who's speaking her truth. Or maybe the King of Swords is speaking up on her behalf to the King of Pentacles. So what's with the magician here? That Knight of Swords could definitely be the magician, but it already came up as that could be you, the King of Swords. Why is the magician around Virgo? This is the new information coming in, which then knocks someone off balance. Somebody gets in, this is getting new information, getting knocked off balance, right? You need to take the blinders off now. You have the information. You can't pretend you don't know anymore. And then this is someone coming clean, right? Getting clean, cleaning up their act, cleaning up their space. They have to come clean now. The information's out there. And then stepping up to the plate, spreading the word. The Queen of Wands is looking the other way. All right, so we definitely have some air energies here because we have, definitely have Gemini there and Libra there. And Aquarius is, was coming up earlier too. And, yeah, they're all coming up upright. But remember, Pisces was coming up reversed over here, and we have a King of Pentacles, over, a King of Cups over here, so he could have Pisces in his chart. But he's upright there. And we have Sagittarius big time over here which was coming up more, of, it can definitely be a feminine energy. So this Queen of Wands may be Sagittarius, or I was getting more masculine energy around the Sagittarius over there with Taurus over there. But Pisces is still, was the only one that was really reversed. So why? This magician could be this Queen of Wands. She may have air in her chart. And now she has to come clean. She can't hide it anymore because now it's come out. So this energy can either be her or it can be the Virgo energy or Gemini about 
the Queen of Wands may be involved and she's been looking the other way, pretending like she doesn't know. The Four of Pentacles is the block for you, Virgo. Why is that? Standing up for yourself, taking the high ground, fending off all others, and making a bold move to move, travel, ascend, or standing up to Cancer energies who may be very, have some very strong warrior energies. This can be the warrior here. And then we have Scorpio energy here too. And this can be just exhaustion. This can be after a death happened already, a near death experience, dark night of the soul. Um, also this can be that never ending story, like it's taking forever to end, right? The journey that they're on, this ascension path that never ends. Someone standing up to them for themselves, fending off all others, keeping their cards close to their chest or holding on and saving their money. This is a block for you. You know, Virgos aren't spenders normally. A, a typical Virgo is going to save, right? They're more scroogey than spenders. So that may be a block for you, letting go of that money because you don't have a lot if you split up from someone or left the job or didn't have a job this year. So there could be a lack there. And so you're holding on, so that may be a block for you that you need to let go of. And then we have the devil. Starting over in love, no longer bored. In a separation, heartbreak or disappointment. Um, I'm not really getting heart issues here. We have the strength card up right here. So it's more of a separation type energy, disappointment. And then wanting a higher love. Patient angel of a higher love. Starting over in love, in a separation being that higher love and here we have the angel and the devil so the higher love is coming up as justice so there could be divorce here sagittarius and libra and capricorn here and aquarius but also this wake-up call an announcement a judgment call um help of uh, the red cross could be helping there may be some kind of urgent need for help this also could be the Pied Piper type of energy as well. But Aquarius is coming up for me for this. Okay, so we have Sag, Libra, Aquarius all in a row. So that could be a group as well, along with Capricorn, the Fiery Devil, the Codependency or Addictions, and Separation, starting over in love, no longer bored because there's lots to deal with now, and then the big love of the Ace of Cups. And what does that Ace of Cups relate to? Suffering in silence, wanting to end the nightmare. Breaking patterns, dropping the facade, dropping the daily grind, taking off the mask, and moving forward to propose something to someone, perhaps proposing to cancer or at night. Proposing to howl at the moon together, perhaps, to get some frustrations out, to work out together. To correct them. This is someone offering to correct an imbalance, perhaps with a cancer. And we have that Ace of Cups. All right. There's big love here. Self-love, spiritual love. I just want to see where this is going. It's, it's headed towards a cancer. and I mean, um, a Pisces energy here or the Divine Feminine in the 5D. Right? Offering love to correct an imbalance so that they can get over it. Drop the burdens of the divine feminine in the 5d or a pisces reverse or the world upside down right giving love to the world to help correct the imbalances around the world again that self-love spiritual love and new love and it's all about this higher love like leaving a relationship that doesn't serve anymore and going into this state of higher love of being love and then we have the three of pentacles reversed could be leaving a job king of wands reversed going to see the doctor or an advisor shedding or this could be even a reader going to get light shed on something perhaps his anger issues or his exhaustion right someone to listen to his woes so we have um, fire and virgo there so fire um, virgo shedding light on something for a king of wands reverse who definitely can be a sagittarius Maybe a fiery Sagittarius with Capricorn in their chart. Or he has Virgo in his chart. Or is a Virgo who's got fire in his chart. So there's issues at work here. And this issues at work can be between the King of Wands and a Pisces reversed. Or just the world. 
or having to work around the world isn't working or just exhausted. It's exhausting, right? And this also could be a king of wands who's been around the block a few times and he's exhausted. He can't do it anymore. And is having issues at work, whether they're financial or getting along with others. And here's someone to shed light on it for them, whether it's a professional, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever it is, or a Virgo or an old man shedding light for them. Avoiding sudden changes or in the aftermath of disaster where now there's a big cleanup to deal with at work. And there's Scorpio energy then coming up there, reversed. And then here's somebody off to offer love again. So we have, set, we have proposal over here in a practical sense. And this is a more loving proposal. Offering love to a wealthy family, business, or community. Or offering love to make heaven on earth. Because this would be the dream family, the dream family, business, or community, the world. To be love for heaven on earth. And this is somebody who's working nights or just up all hours working, trying to get things in order. You know, up with Ben over here, the mouse. And Charlotte's Web is there too. Maybe somebody's teaching kids about Ben and Charlotte's Web. And then we have somebody suffering silence at night with wise counsel at their side. Rapunzel in the E-Tower in their crib here, perhaps. Not sleeping well. Purging. Headaches. Stressed out. But there is a wise owl here to give them counsel. Okay? And notice that these are two people doing the same thing. A guy and a girl. Totally different perspectives, but the same thing. Right? One's avoiding by working late at night. And here's somebody suffering in silence, not sleeping well. There's a guy and a girl. Then we have the Queen of Wands reversed. And this could be someone, this could be someone who's upset. They could be sick, they could be tired, or they could be pissed off. So this could be this unhappy person here suffering in silence, or she could be somebody else right here looking at herself. But here she's ex either exhausted or pissed off, or she's a scammer here. She's ready to ghost somebody or take off or lie, cheat, and steal to get what she wants. So this, my, these two could be totally, these could be these two people here. But he's not offering love to this energy. He's offering love to this energy. So I think there's two different people here. The Knight of Cups is offering love to Rapunzel in the tower. And then here's this person who's, who's willing to lie, cheat, and steal to get what they want. And there's the Knight of, so the Knight of Wands. See? And this may be a couple who's been doing this. But maybe one changed their ways, but the other one hasn't. All right, so we have the Queen of Queen of Wands looking at herself right here. And then we have the Eight of Wands reversed, which again is not expressing true feelings. This is a lot of arguing and going back and forth with delays after delay. And then a final surrender of the Wounded Warrior. And today is the day of the Wounded Warrior in the Jewish religion. So very interesting there. There is surrender, though. There's some really negative energy right here, though. This right here, it's like two people who will do anything to get what they want. Or these two are really pissed off because the person in the middle took off with their stuff. Or took off and ghosted them. So why is the tower reversed? So someone can be self-satisfied? You know, avoiding sudden changes because they're happy with the way things are? Awakening or having a big ego, this can be arrogance too, or with their bright idea, they're inspired. This is this knight of this knight of cups here offering love. Who is this knight of cups? Knight of cups may be a female who's got everything that she needs except for the one person to share it with. Implementing a plan, but without peace, no peaceful place to go. With the page of pentacles reversed. All right, so she may be offering love to a child or she's dealing, she uh, has a lack of peace because of a child, but maybe offering love somewhere else as well or somebody else is offering her love, but she's busy taking care of a child who needs help right now. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, dumping emotional attachments that don't serve them anymore, no longer confused. This could be dumping multiple loads too, getting rid of stuff. This could be a family business or 
community, right? Uh, spring cleaning, but it could be emotional and spiritual cleansing as well, cleaning out their closets. And then here is, could be, this could be sports and games that are starting up again. This can be the pursuit of happiness. I mean, there can be conflict and battles and fights here as well, competition, but um, it's feeling more positive here. Being very present in the moment. So why is the Eight of Pentacles there working into the night, Virgo? The Emperor, letting go to fix things up. So maybe, you know, earning some extra money to fix up the place or make, may, earning some money to make amends with somebody as well. That can be as well. Or save for something new. And then why is the Nine of Swords there? Because the Ten of Swords is coming up next as some kind of betrayal. Present to a betrayal, pe present to ending pain, some good work in the field of medicine or pain. And then um, and then this one in the, in the Tower, Rapunzel, has this energy. So all this, what's left here, right? If you're free and you have all of this comfort here, the only thing she's missing is someone to love. And so this is what she's suffering over. Love. Love. So why is the Queen of Wands reversed there? Why is the Queen of Wands reversed? Well, it looks like she's got an ego there. Someone's moving out or the end of a marriage and have to be present to it, but they're not happy about it. So these are these three, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and then the one taken off, right? So someone's moving and these two, there's nothing they can do about it. They're reversed, they're not happy about that. They're pissed off. They're either exhausted or pissed. And then we have the arguing here and then the surrender. There's a surrender here. It's like there's two couples here, but one in the couple is the same person in both. It's like leaving one situation to go to another situation. And then there's a surrender here of the two who aren't happy here. And these could be two kids too, right? Where someone's had it with them and they leave because they're, they're old enough to take care of themselves. Then we have, so after these two who have to concede to the end of this family or the end of the house moving. And these are both fire signs, the Queen of Wands reversed and the Knight of Wands reversed. Then we have the Magician making magic to end the pain and offer a new life. Okay, that's your read. There is a surrender here at the end. So let's see what the energy deck has to say. And again, the signs for you, you have Taurus upright, Pisces reversed, Sag upright and reversed in that energy before in the past, but it looks like Sag is upright here. Aquarius upright, Gemini and Virgo upright, Capricorn upright, Scorpio reversed. And again, if I say they're reversed, it might just be because they're in, they have that sign in their chart, but it's not their sun sign. And then we have again, Sag reversed and there could be Aries reversed here too. The Queen of Wands may have Aries in her chart. All right, so let's see what we have. What's our takeaway from this read for Virgo? <sighs> appreciation, but it's also for your dark side, the 15 of the devil, the shadow. And showing appreciation to, it's very interesting because the flowers, I picked flowers for your reads today, but I'm, you know, I was trying to be one with nature and I didn't want to really pick them because then you're killing them, but they don't last very long anyway. So I chatted with the flowers before I picked them and asked them if it was okay. I was getting a positive response, so I picked them, but then I put water in that container there, and it's not supposed to hold water, so it leaked all over my cards, which is why a few cards got wet. So there's a story there, because here she's picking the flowers, showing appreciation for the shadow side, right? Even of yourself. So here's the masculine energy coming up with hostilities. The 26 is the Page of Wands, but the Page of Wands in this read was upright and inspired. If I'm, if I'm, yep, they're inspired. So this is like, this card is actually reversed because they have opposite meanings. So in the deck, this it's positive energy. So, 
on the the um, yeah. So and the devil's upright here. So there is appreciation for the shadow side, and it's letting go of the hostilities here, the anger issues, and that was coming up in Leo's read too. The need, like learning to walk away instead of losing their temper, in order to reap the rewards, right? Having Thanksgiving every day, having the sunshine, which also nourishes you, the food and the sunshine, the cornucopia, heaven on earth. Like letting go of the hostilities to have gratitude for the light and the shadow side and for everything you deal with, even the flowers that you pick. Showing an appreciation for everything, walking away when you need to in order to enjoy the, the abundance here. And that's the 11 of justice, truth and balance. And there's rest and rejuvenation for the masculine here with the sun, spending time in the sun to recharge yourself. So it's not just the food that recharges you, you need the sunshine. The bottom of the deck is the wounded warrior. There's surrender right here, the wounded warrior, and the man holding a heart, the 45 of grieving, letting go of that. Letting go of any grief, loss, regret, shame and guilt, the past, the broken heart, okay? The nine of the hermit, okay? So the masculine energy, letting go of the past, of any wounds. And then let's see what the romance angels has to say. So it's like the masculine Virgo is letting go of any loss or regret, guilt or shame, the past, and then the feminine is learning to appreciate her shadow side. Okay. So for Virgo, what is the takeaway for this? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Express your love. And then there's two cards that came out together. Reconciliation and then deception. So someone from the past is returning to your life, but someone's also wearing a, a false self mask, whether that's you or the other person. And it can just be that there's a lot you don't know about each other because you held back. You know, they're both wearing masks here. So, But there may be a reconciliation where there's some things that need to be worked out. Or there's reconciliation that didn't work out. So this happened already and now, but this is coming forward. So it's like two people coming together who need to talk because they need to really discover who each other is without the masks. And then there's honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together with the wings of angels here, okay? The bottom of the deck is attraction. You, attra you attract, attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And beneath that was this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Okay, so just enjoy this moment fully talking about flowers and me picking the flowers, okay? So, yeah, actually it's very good. It's a lot going on here, but it's, it's good, very good in the end, okay? So make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature, and rise and be loved. Be good to yourselves. Have an amazing day. Take a deep breath and play. I'll see you soon. Bye.